Today we're going to be talking about the donkey calf raise, which is one of the greatest calf exercises of all time. Unfortunately, most gyms don't have a donkey calf raise machine. So in addition to covering the anatomy of the exercise and how to use a donkey calf raise machine, we're going to be covering four alternative loading methods for this exercise. Since the actual execution of the exercise will be the same between each variation, I'll cover the setup for each variation first before moving on to the execution of the exercise at the end, rather than covering the execution five separate times. Timestamps for everything I just mentioned will be on screen right now. Let me tell you something. What's up guys, Ryan here at TradeawayTraining.com where we help busy professionals get more results in less time through online training. Before we begin, if you want to see more videos on body transforming training and nutrition topics, consider subscribing. For those of you that didn't skip ahead, let's talk anatomy. There are two muscles that make up the calf. The gastrocnemius is the outer muscle of the calf that's visible from behind. The soleus lies under the gastroc and is visible from the side. The gastroc originates at the femur and inserts at the heel, crossing both the ankle and knee joint. The soleus originates at the tibia and fibula, and it also attaches at the heel. In other words, the soleus does not cross the knee joint like the gastroc does. When the knee is bent like with a seated calf raise, the gastroc is shortened. This reduces how forcefully it can be contracted, placing more emphasis on the soleus. When the leg is straight, like with a standing calf raise, the gastroc is stretched. This allows it to contract more forcefully, placing more emphasis on the gastroc. Following this logic further, bending forward, like with a donkey calf raise, places more of a stretch on the gastroc, meaning it should shift even more emphasis from the soleus onto the gastroc. A 2000 EMG study supports this idea, showing that the donkey calf raise produces the greatest gastroc activation. This is why in the intro I said that the donkey calf raise is one of the greatest calf exercises of all time. It is, in my opinion, the greatest gastroc exercise of all time. However, in order to sufficiently work the soleus, you will still need to include a bent knee calf raise variation. Now that we've covered the anatomy, let's move on to the setup. I'll quickly cover how to set up for the donkey calf raise machine and then I'll move on and cover each of the four variations. Setup for the machine variation is completely straightforward. Once you've selected your weight, all you have to do is place your forearms on the arm support, slide your hips under the padded arm, and step up onto the foot platform with the back half of your feet hanging off. Now let's move on to the setup for our alternative methods. First, we'll cover the Smith machine. The first step is to find your foot platform. Just about anything that is firm and stable will work. If you don't have a dedicated foot platform, a few ideas of what you can use are bumper plates, a riser, or the feet of a bench. Select something to brace yourself with. A bench is a great option. Set the stopper so that the bar is somewhere between hip and belly button height. The exact height will vary depending on how tall the platform is that you're standing on. Put a bar pad on the bar so that it doesn't dig into your hips. Lean forward onto the bench, position your hips under the bar, and step onto the foot platform with the back half of your feet hanging off. Now let's discuss the barbell variation. In a squat rack, set the safety pin so that one is at chest height and the other is just below chest height. Place a barbell on the pins. Load weight onto both sides of the bar and be sure to use a high quality collar on the low side of the bar so that the weight doesn't slide off. Place your foot platform on the same side as the low end of the barbell. Put a bar pad on the low end of the bar so that it doesn't dig into your back. Hold on to the higher safety pin, center the bar on your back, and step up onto the foot platform with the back half of your feet hanging off. Moving on to the dip belt variation, select something to brace yourself with. For this variation, I would recommend a squat rack with a safety pin set at about belly button height. Place your foot platform on the ground about three feet away. Load weight onto a dip belt and hang it from your hips. Step onto the foot platform with the back half of your feet hanging off and lean over onto the safety pin. Setup for the partner variation is almost identical to the dip belt variation. 
Select something to brace yourself with. Again, I'd recommend a squat rack with a safety pin set at about belly button height. Place your foot platform on the ground about three feet away. Step up onto the foot platform with the back half of your feet hanging off. And if you have a workout partner, this is the part where they'd hop up on your back. But I don't. That's better. Now that we've covered all the variations, let's talk execution. Let your heels sink down as far as your ankle mobility will allow. Then press upward onto your toes as high as your ankle mobility will allow. As you return to the bottom position for each rep, pause for two to three seconds. This will allow the elastic energy stored in the Achilles tendon to dissipate, ensuring it's actually your calves that are doing the work rather than your Achilles tendon acting like a rubber band and taking the brunt of the load propelling you back up to the top of the rep. Also be sure to maintain a straight leg throughout the lift. As we discussed earlier, if your knee is bent, it removes tension from the gastroc and places it on the soleus. Before I end the video, I'm curious to know how many of you have tried any of these variations before. So let me know down in the comments. And also if there is a variation that you've tried that I didn't mention in the video, then also let me know that down in the comments as well, and I'll give it a try. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you hated it, give it a thumbs down. If you want more content just like this, consider subscribing, or you can check out the exercise tutorial playlist, which is on screen right now. Or you can check us out on the Treadaway Training Blogcast. We're there every Sunday at 3 p.m. That's treadawaytraining.com slash blog. As always, God bless you and your family, and I'll see you tomorrow. Woo, I did it in one breath. Yeah.